Thursday, June 8, 2023, and I've got three best bets for you. Let's go. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Noble Living, back with another DYF Bets video where I'm breaking down my favorite picks, plays of the day, just trying to help you make some money, and let's grow these bags together. Last night was a very, very disappointing day on the video. Went 0 for 3, losing on all our NBA Finals picks. Man, I got it wrong. I apologize. Caleb Martin went over his points late. He had like 8 in the first half. I was sweating that one out. He played more minutes than I expected him to play the most minutes he's played all series so definitely wasn't expecting that Kevin Love points and rebounds did not play as much as I was expecting to play he played a lot the second game not so much last night so that was tough to see and then Max Struess I guess they were baiting us in with those three points there because he did not even really get the attempts like that hey but it happens we're gonna rebound today we've got a full slate of baseball so I'm excited to get back to it you can see our year-to-date record right here we're still crushing it we're still killing it 10 games over 500 year to date so we can't be mad at it so as always like comment and subscribe to the video because i know i'm about to heat up i'm about to go on a run here I'm about to start putting out some bangers string together some winning days and you don't want to miss this so make sure you're sharing these videos with people who you know like the sports bet so we can grow the channel and continue to get to this money so for my first best bet of the day, I am going to the Astros on the money line. And I like them. It's You can get it about minus 125 odds across different books. So nothing too crazy there. And we've got a good pitching matchup in this one between Framber Valdez versus Jose Barreos. Now, Framber Valdez on the year, he's 6-4 and four with a 2.16 ERA. While Jose Barreros, he's 5-4 and four with a 3.66 ERA. Now this one, I think, is just going to be a tough matchup for the Jays. And they've had their struggles against left these this year for one they've had the fewest amount of plate appearances against left-handed pitchers in all of baseball so no team has faced lefties any less than the Jays have we don't have a huge sample size to go off with here but they're the lowest team in terms of on base percentage and isolated power in all of baseball against these lefties as well so that's really tough to handicap especially when you're going against a pitcher like Frambo Valdez who's been locked and loaded and who's been in really really good form of late in his last start against the the Angels he went seven innings seven strikeouts no earned runs and that was an easy Astros win right there and the Astros have been killing it in starts that Framber Valdez has started in in their last five matchups that Valdez has started they've covered the money line in every game and including the run line a few times winning all five of those games so that's a pitcher that I really want to back because he's in good form and he knows that when he goes out there his team is going to back him up as well that's really good for your confidence and truthfully that the Astros, now that they've been healthy, have been hitting right-handed pitchers better as well. So because of that, I think the Astros were getting really, really good value on this because they're on the road at minus 125. You're not always going to get the Astros at such great value. And when you have their ace on the mound in Fran Valdez, I like that here. So give me Valdez. Give me the Astros on the money line as my first pick of the day. Now, you know I talked a lot about Valdez on that pick, and that's because I want to dive into Jose Barreos a little bit because he's no slouch either, especially at home he pitches really well and he has a 2.22 era at home in 24 innings and he's only given up six earned runs in those 24 innings so really really good but this is the thing because he's a strong pitcher and because I trust the Astros ballpen a little bit more and they're going against a strong pitcher in Fran Valdez I like the first five under four and a half runs is my second best bet today and you can get that at minus 130 odds on FanDuel there's some books that have under four on there I mean I would take that but I think three and a half is too low four and a half is the number that we're going for we already cashed on one of these first half unders this week and I'm trying to run it back again today in his last start Jose Barreros he went six innings he gave up one earned run against the Mets a pretty strong hitting team and then the game before that he faced Minnesota another Another home run strong hitting team he went five and two-thirds innings four hits zero earned run so he's really strong over five in innings like I mentioned in the previous pick Framba Valdez is really strong over five innings so I think we can be able to give up one or two runs here and still like this thing to get under when you dive into the numbers a little bit deeper Toronto is 13th in the league in first five runs per game averaging just around three while the Astros are 18th averaging about two and a half so that's like their average against all starting pitchers and now we have really two 
two strong starting pitchers on the mound. I like this a run or two lower than that. So give me the under four and a half first five runs in the Astros and Jays as my second best bet of the day. For my final and third best bet of the day, I had to scrounge something up here because we've got a lot of early baseball games, a lot of double headers as well. I don't really put out early baseball games on the channel so I can give you guys time to view the video and put in the picks. As a result, if you're trying to get those early games, make sure you're joining the Telegram group. The link is in the bio below so that way you guys can stay up to date on all the live bets, the nerfy bets, the early game bets that I'm going to be putting out today. So this way you guys can stay up to date. With the last few remaining later games that we have in baseball today, one two team steam that I really like is the Braves and Mets first five under five and a half and then the Phillies money line. When we parlay those two together, we get to about plus 120 odds there, which I really like. So let's dive into that first matchup between the Braves and Mets first. At first, I was going to do the Braves money line and I do like them to win this game both on the first five and the full game. But when I dove into it a little bit deeper, you know I always like when I'm doing two team steamers to kind of tease it up a little bit so we can get that value on the odds since we're not really getting it because we're parlaying it. And we have two strong starting pitchers in this Braves Mets matchup. We got Justin Verlander going for the Mets. We got Spencer Strider going for the Braves. Verlander two and three in the year with a 4.25 ERA, while Spencer Strider six and two on the year with a 2.97 ERA. So two good pitchers who've been strong form of late. And Verlander, I know he has a little bit of higher ERA than what we're used to seeing, but I feel like that's just a little bit of an outlier ERA, a little deceiving because he had two outings, one against the Rockies at Coors Field. So you guys know it's a hitter friendly park where he gave up six earned runs. And then he also had another start against the Rays earlier this year where he gave up six earned runs. So between those two starts alone, it's kind of skewed his numbers a bit. But if you dive into the numbers a little bit deeper in his last start against the Jays, he went six innings, eight strikeouts, only one earned run. And that's what I really like to see from a pitcher that I want to back. And on the other side, we have Spencer Strider, who's been pitching strong in the first five innings as well. In his last three starts, he's only given up two earned runs in each of those three starts. And he went six innings in each of those three starts as well. So because of that, Verlander coming off a strong start. And then we've got Striders also coming off several strong starts where he's kept the ERA and the runs low in the first five innings. I like both of these pitchers to maybe give up a run or two, but we can still stay below the five and a half number here. If you want to take as an individual bet at four and a half, be my guest. I like the teased up five and a half runs as the first leg of the parlay. And the Mets, they're truthfully not one of the best scoring teams in the first five. They're 25th out of 30 teams in terms of scoring runs in the first five. So because of that, with the strong pitching, I like that under as the first leg of the parlay. In the second leg of the parlay, we're going to go with that Phillies and Tigers matchup. We got to go with the Phillies here. We got Zach Wheeler versus Tyler Holton on the mound. And the Phillies, they're looking to complete the sweep after yesterday's game got postponed due to all the smog and the air conditions due to the Canadian fires. I hope if anybody's watching this video in Canada that you guys are safe and you guys are doing well. But the Tigers are going with a ballpen matchup in this one. And I'm not the biggest fan of handicapping ballpen games because you just never know what you're going to get. You might have a long reliever who's in there for too long or, you know, the ballpen did get a break yesterday with that postponed game. I think there's a strong Phillies offense, which is finally starting to get healthy. And then the, the Tigers are also not the best when they're facing left-handed pitchers. And I really think this is Zach Wheeler's start to really rebound. In his last start against the Nationals, it was very rough for him. In three and two-thirds innings, he gave up seven earned runs. That's really tough. But when you look into the numbers, he is better at home than he is on the road. He has a 3.53 ERA at home compared to 5.18 ERA on the road. That last start against the Nationals was on the road. And then the Tigers are 24th out of 30 teams in Team OPS against lefties this season. So because of that, they're not hitting lefties the strongest. They're going in a ballpen game against an offense that's looking to sweep this series. And I think the Zach Wheeler can put together a strong outing here. They're huge money line favors for a reason. So give me the Phillies on the money line here, parlaying that with the Braves and the Mets first five under. And I think when we get those two together, we get to really good plus 100 odds to double our money. And I think that's a great way to cap off the night. Well, that's it for me today, my friends. Hopefully we can make some money and I'm super excited to see what we can do to get back on the winning streak after a big goose egg yesterday. I'm looking to get hot. I'm looking to warm up. I got to lock in. I got to go crazy for this month of June. So you don't want to miss this as always. 
make sure you're like commenting and subscribing to the video sharing the video out if you guys want to hear my commentary on some of the games or if you would like are looking for some new additional content some additional things just let me know so this way i can figure out the best way to continue to serve you all right as always dictate your fate let's make some money and i'm excited to hear some of the wins that you get inside the telegram later guys